When I was a little boy, about five years old, right before my sister was born, my mother had taken me to this play that my father was in, a play called The Raisin in the Sun. It was in a small theater at the time called Henry Street Theater. We had arrived about, I don't know, 10 minutes late. An employee who inspected the tickets asked if he wouldn't mind sitting in the mid seating. That sitting in the front row reserved seat could disturb the performance. <laughs> Thinking back, my mother probably only agreed because she's partial to sitting in the mid and because her husband was performing. My father played a lead, Walter Lee. See, I didn't know people could turn to other people. I didn't exactly see it that way. Everything my father said I thought was somehow related to me. There was this one part in the play that I never forgot. The end of the play when the white real estate man comes in, gives a black family money not to move into his neighborhood. My father began to speak, and no one moved. No one spoke. No one made a single sound. They just sat there and listen to him as if you were a saint. He spoke about being plain folk and pride in being plain folk. Then he calls his boy over, his son. He tells him how proud he is of him. And I know my father was really talking about me. For years I tried to be like my dad, a black actor, like Danny Glover or Sidney Poitier or Morgan Freeman. But I was never black enough. My dad died last year. It wasn't until then how I realized how ignorant I was and the lack of credit I had given my father. My father was a black actor. But he wanted me to go one step further than that. He wanted me to be an actor. Just an actor. That's what he meant when he said proud.